So that's my, that is um, singlet state, triplet state. Last piece I'm going to cover today is there's a, so what happens, you can probably see, this is kind of complicated, isn't it? The wave function. There's an easy way to write the wave function. Easy. It's called a Slater determinant. How many of you work with determinants? Noted. I'm not even saying I know what a determinant is. I'm not sure I know what a deter determinant is. I can solve it. It's a, it's a result of a matrix operation. And <clears throat> so it turns out that um, I can construct wave functions. I can construct legal wave functions as a determinant of wave functions. So 1s2 is equal to, or you can find as 1 over root 2 normalization constant, 1s1 alpha 1, 1s1 beta 1, so I'm going this way with electrons, <coughs> see how good I am? <clears throat> and then here is electron 2, 1s2 two, alpha 2, 1s2 two, beta 2, uh, actually no, orbital, I'm sorry, electrons and orbitals. Now, what does this give me? The process for solving a two by two determinant is that a two by two determinant is this term times this term minus this term times this term. So this is equal to 1s1 alpha 1, 1s2 beta 2 minus 1s1 beta 1, 1s2 beta 2. So I put it in the form of a determinant and it all works. Well, what about three electrons? Okay, so for three electrons, I'm going, let's take a look at lithium. So, get rid of our normalization constant here. We're now going to look at, so 1s2, 2s1, lithium. I'm going to add another orbital. So 2s1, let's suppose that other electron is alpha, so it's straight up. Alpha 1, 2s2, alpha 2, and then my third row is going to be um, 1s3, alpha 3, 1s3, beta 3, 2s3, alpha 3, determinant. Now, what this does is it automatically puts my, uh, it automatically takes care of indistinguishability. It automatically takes care of um, just get, getting every, the, the indistinguishability and the poly principle. Well, what does that give us? Well, Okay, I'm going to do, so this is equal to, using determinant math, 1s1 alpha 1. It becomes the, the 2 by 2 determinant multiplied by this term. So 
determinant 1s, 2 beta, 2, 2s, 2 beta, alpha, excuse me, alpha, 2, 1s, 3 beta, 3, 2s, 3 alpha, 3 minus, I'm going to take this term, 1s, 1, beta, 1, times the 2 by 2 determinant given by this term, this term, this term, and this term. Now it goes, the terms go minus and plus. Plus this term multiplied by the 2 by 2 determinant, which is this. Okay. And then I expand each of these, and this, of course, is this times this minus this times this. Take this times this times this minus this times this. Do the same for the last term. Oh, yeah. This is what. So, computers are kind of nice, aren't they? Yeah, they'll. But you can also see these functions get more and more complicated very, very quickly. But that's all right. We just, so, so what's the real point here? So from today is just realize, so we did singlet and triplet. So symmetric and anti-symmetric with respect to interchange. Um, the idea that if I, what, what this is, when I write this, if I want to actually solve the wave function, it's this. So if I'm taking, say, sodium, which has 11 electrons, the wave function is an 11 by 11 determinant, which means I have 11 10 by 10 determinants. Each 10 by 10 determinant is 9, nine by 9 determinants, each of which is 8 by, mm, yes, it gets very long. Uh, but that's what it is, and that's okay. So if you're doing the computer coding for this, that's what you need to do. So any questions? No, I'm not going to have you solve these. I'm just putting this out. This, this is a, so you understand the idea of a Slater determinant, putting the wave function this way. It automatically does everything for you. And one last thing. So... I saw a couple of people look like, oh yeah, I've seen that before. Do you know what the determinant of a matrix is if any row or column is identical? Zero. Zero. What that means is, is so each row or column, if, if these two columns, rows are equal, it means that two electrons have the same four quantum numbers. So it automatically this is the sort of the automatic Pauli principle. If you put together a wave function that has two, uh, two fermions with the same quantum numbers, it drops, the wave function goes to zero because the determinant, when you solve the determinant, it's zero. 